Hey, Gershard here with Gershard Games, and today we are going to break down the equipment screen. Uh, this is going to be a fairly long video, so here's a guide about where different things will be talked about. So if you're just looking for a specific section, go ahead and jump to that part of the video, and that'll get you where you need to be. All right, so this is your equipment screen. As you know, my guy here is a little bit injured. We'll talk about that in a second. There's six main parts to the equipment screen right here, as you can see, and I got them highlighted. The first part we're gonna talk about, which I get asked about a lot, is what this up here means. It means nothing, as you can see here with Bobic. I talked to him, I sent him a message, I was like, hey, I was told this is a bug, is it a bug? Yeah, it's a bug, don't worry about it, it's gonna go away. If you're watching this video in the future, you're probably not even gonna see it, because it'll probably be fixed by then. The next part is your stats over to the left, which are your hit points, your stamina, your hunger, and your alignment. Your hit points, Everybody has at least 100. They're determined to buy 100 plus your constitution minus 10. This character has 10 constitution, which is zero, so he only has 100 hit points. Your hard hit points go up and down depending if you're injured. My guy's injured, so he's only got 80 hard hit points. If your soft hit points hit zero, you're going to go unconscious. If your hard hit points hit zero, you die. You stay unconscious, I want to say it's about two or three minutes i really don't remember offhand but you you stay you go unconscious and all your stuff drops in a bag on the ground and it's long enough for somebody to loot you so keep an eye on that uh they both regenerate over time your soft hit points can be healed with preps and your hard can be healed with like battle survival healing or again just kind of hanging out and letting it heal your stamina is uh determined by your willpower minus 10 so this person lots of willpower minus 10 so I have 62, so I have 62, or excuse me, 72 willpower because everybody gets 10, so 100 plus 62, 62. Your soft uh, stamina is actions. Every time you do something, it's going to use a different amount of soft stamina. Your hard stamina is basically a pool of your soft stamina. So how I have 162 soft stamina here, one hard stamina is 162 soft stamina, and as it regens, it will eat your hard stamina up. You restore your soft stamina just by not doing anything. You stand there for a couple seconds, it'll fill up. It's pretty quick, unless you're out of hard stamina. To restore your hard stamina, there's three ways you can do it. You can just stand there, which is bad. You can sit down with the little chair icon in your general actions. Or you can use stamina preps, which are the absolute best. Your hunger, it's used to regen your hard stamina. One hunger will equal one hard stamina, which will equal a soft stamina bar. Your food quality is going to be between 0.1. I don't believe it gets to zero. I've never seen it at zero because that would mean you get zero XP. And five, which is a five times food multiplier. Five is the absolute best. Takes tier five food to get there. Uh, most people usually are around two or three. If you have good tier four food, you're probably going to get up to around four to 4.5. Um, not a whole lot to it. You can't make it higher than 100. But if it gets to zero... Your hard stamina will start to drain, but it takes a really, right now it takes a really, really long time for that to hit zero. We're talking hours. I've gone without food for an extremely long time, and I only got down to about 50 hard stamina, or excuse me, hard hit points. Your alignment is next. It can be between negative 1,000 to a positive 1,000. To get under negative 45, or excuse me, 49, which would be negative 50, you have to murder somebody. Once you get under that point, you are negative forever. You cannot get it above 50. To increase your alignment, pray to your god, it's in your general actions under your piety menu. It gets lowered by murders, stealing, trespassing, stuff like that. It will directly affect your death penalty. When you die, you lose a certain amount of skills. If your alignment is higher, you lose less. If it's lower, you lose more. I've heard people losing like up to 10 skill points. I don't know if that's true. All my characters positive alignment because, I mean, come on. Um, anyway, uh, moving on, we got the character paper doll in the middle, which as you can see, he's got the little blood swoosh. There's six main areas on here, and they all will either have the little blood swoosh or visible bones, which this guy doesn't have any fractures, and I couldn't get a fracture on one of my characters. So, but where you see the arms and the legs and stuff, you'll see bones through there, which means he has a fracture. I believe it's reduced strength usually is what happens. Uh, it doesn't really affect you a whole lot, but it does lower your maximum hard HP, 
which is why this character's hard HP was lower because he was injured, as you can see on his head. The other thing on this section is premium shop application. You can click those little things. See how the shovel there? It's lit up. You can click that. If you have any of the new shovel skins, you can click that and apply it. You can also get to the store to buy it. Next is your back slots. The back, top two are back slots. Only certain things can fit here. Excuse me. Anything can fit in your back slots. Only th certain things can fit in your hip slots. Like the shovel I have here, for example, cannot go in a hip slot. It has to go in a back slot. Things like metal saws, hammers, stuff like that can go in hip slots. I highly recommend you fill in your hip slots first and then go back up and fill in your back slots with other stuff because anything can fit in the back slots. So go ahead and fill up the hip, slot, hip slots first and then fill in your back slots with stuff that won't fit down there. Now, a lot of people are really confused by the draw forum, which go to your combat tab, military, it's the little guy with the pitchfork, and then click and drag these to your hotbar. You can draw your weapons or tools or however you have it equipped. And a lot of people don't understand what these really mean. You don't actually drag the weapon down to your action bar. You drag these because if you drag the weapon down there, it's not going to work. So as you can see here, my guy's got a shovel up in the top right, which if you look at the symbol is draw from left back slot because it's the character's left screen left. It's not your left. It's the character's right, not your right. These symbols will probably change over time because they're probably wrong right now because they don't make a lot of sense where they are uh, visually. But as of the time of this video, this is how it works. So make sure you read what it actually says and that you follow what it actually says instead of like your left and your right. The next part we have is the equipment screen. Um, not going to read all this stuff out. Really no reason to do that. You can read it. Most of it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, the one thing to note is with the chest or outfit slot, it is just that. It's chest or outfit. If you have an outfit equipped, you can only have gloves, a helmet, and jewelry equipped. You have to take your shoes and everything else off. A lot of people are like, well, why can't I put my outfit on? Well, it's because you have shoes on still. See how this character has shoes on? He would not be able to wear an outfit right now. Outfits count as shoes, so you don't have to worry about getting that penalty for not having shoes on. Next, we're going to talk about the weight. As you can see in the bottom right hand corner, uh, there's not a whole lot that tells you it's like weight and speed. Like, that's cool. What's weight mean? Well, weight is how much you can equip and still effectively move around. If you get too heavy on your weight, you're really going to have bad stamina drain. You're going to move slow. You can see the weight calculation here. It's 10 plus your constitution divided by 2 plus your strength divided by 2. So everybody can have at least 20 weight. This character right here, 10 constitution, 10 strength, 20 weight. So everybody can carry 20. More weight, less speed. Even if you're not over 20, like see how this character is 3, but his speed's 97. Well, if his weight was higher, if it was like, say, 40, like 3 out of 40, his speed would probably be like 98 or 99. Because the more of that weight you allocate, the slower your character goes. You can counter that with agility. Because the more agility you have, the faster you move. And you can see your speed bonus on, if you mouse over your agility, it's increased by a percentage. Agility, good, makes you move faster, more weight, even if you're under your max weight, will make you move slower. When marching, especially as infantry, you want to, you want as much speed as possible. I have, I've experienced this personally. If you have a whole bunch of weight, take it off, take off your shield, take off your armor, take off stuff they can see that's under your tabard, and march with that stuff in your bag, because you will fall behind. I've, I've been the fat kid in back because I couldn't keep up. Uh, next, we're going to talk about stats. Stat cap, always 150. I think on Newbie Island, it's 100. I'm really not sure. I didn't hang out on Newbie Island, sorry. Uh, your other stats are always 10, which means you have 100 attributable points. You have 100 points to play with. The other 50 are taken. There's nothing you can do about it. Sorry. Your luck is not factored into these 100 points that you have because it's from jewelry, food, priest buffs, stuff like that. Strength. And you can read all this if you mouse over it. Your strength, heavier weapons, which means some weapons weigh a little bit more, so you'll use less stamina when you swing them. So it's if you're going to be a combat character, strength is good. More equipment, heavier weapons. Agility, passive movement speed, which you can see when you mouse over it. And combat sprint. What that means is when you're in combat stance, you can only sprint default. I think it's like 1.5 seconds or something like that at 10 agility the higher that gets the longer you can sprint so you can chase down those peasants when they're running away um constitution 
more hard soft hit points like we talked about more equipment weight intellect skill points straight up times two so this character has 48 so you're going to take the 10 off for the base because it doesn't count so 38 times two 76 extra skill points so if i went over to the screen i'm not going to that's that's all intellects for it doesn't have any other use so if it's a combat character i do not advise putting a lot of points in intellect because you need everything else willpower really important for crafters kind of important for combat tunes because you need to carry your horse when you swim and stuff you need to not fall behind you need to be able to carry all your loot back uh directly affects your stamina as talked about earlier it also directly affects your carry weight your carry weight is going to be your base and then your willpower minus 10 because the 10 doesn't count times two so this character 72 minus 10 62 124 extra carry weight that's all i got for this video thanks for watching my next video you can go ahead and click right here it's going to be how to gain your stats uh it'll be how to gain any stat not just this not just that not just whatever it'll be future proof how to gain stats if you're interested in that go ahead and click on the video right here in front of you otherwise i'll catch you next time thanks guys bye